Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I am ending the day right now. I have been fishing all day. It was it was a long day of fishing, but it was very rewarding as you guys will see here in a second. And uh, we did pretty well, not to spoil anything, but we certainly had a good day. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Let's get right into it. I've been throwing this black marabou jig at them. They seem interested, but they, they just don't want to commit. So we're gonna switch it up on them. I got this little teeny tiny ice fishing spoon. Kinda looks like a cast master. Never tried it before, but it's worth a try. There we go. There we go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh. Hey there, bud. Oh man, that is a nice fish right there. That's a beauty. Look at this fish. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Man. Look at that tiger trout. Wow. It does not get better than that. Man. There we go. First fish of the day. About a 18 inch tiger trout. Look at that. That is unbelievably beautiful. What a beautiful fish. Oh, sweet. There's more down there. There's a lot bigger ones down there. There we go. One last look. One last look. Whew. All right. There he goes. Ho oh, ho. Holy cow. Look at this. This is a giant tree, and it's about halfway eaten from the beavers. A couple more windstorms, this thing could topple. Hopefully no one's here when it does. That is crazy. Let's see if we can go out and see one. Gotta be careful. Okay, that log is not stable. Don't step there. All right guys, so here's the deal. I walked around the entire lake. It's a pretty decent sized lake, um, or a pretty decent sized pond, I guess you could say. Walked all the way around it, saw one fish. Didn't get any bites, so I've come back to the spot where I caught that, er that fish earlier because there are tons of fish stacked up right here, big ones too. So I think I'm just gonna fish out the rest of the evening right here, and uh, if I only get one more fish, I'll be happy because there are some good fish down there. So if I can just get like one of those, one more of those, I'll be satisfied. Hmm. Look at that, guys. This is like the fourth or fifth snake I've seen just swimming across these rocks right here. I wonder if these fish are eating them. I'm tempted to throw them on a hook, but I'm not sure if that's legal or not. <laughs> this would be perfect size though, wouldn't it? But, Maybe that's an experiment for another day. Swim free, buddy. Well guys, that does it for that lake. Those fish are really, really smart. 
fished for three hours and caught one. <laughs> but that's probably why those fish are so big. They're smart. But we got about mm, 30, 40 minutes left of daylight. And I want to fish at least one more spot before we end the day. Whew. Hopefully get another big tiger trout or even a fat brook trout or maybe a cutthroat. But yeah, I'll catch you guys at that other spot. There we go, fish on. Get him up here. No! No! Shoot! There we go. Little guy. Whoa, whoa, there's fish right there. Look at that, under the moss. Second fish of the day and second species. A lot smaller than that tiger trout we caught earlier but still a beautiful fish. Look at that. I caught that fish out of probably six inches of water, all in this moss. I mean, you would never, this is the last place you'd think brook trout would thrive, but they do. This is a very, very shallow lake. I mean, it's no more than a foot out there at the most. But the reason they can survive, there's some water trickling in all along these rocks. You can see it trickling in right there and right here by my feet. So even though the sun gets high and hot in the sky and heats up this lake, it gets cooled down really fast by the spring water. Because when I touch this water, it's actually ice cold. It's actually a lot colder than I was even expecting. That's the reason these brook trout can thrive in here, even though it's a shallow lake. They've got this nice, fresh, cool, cold water running in constantly. So they all stack up right here by the spring and uh, you just nail them like that. <laughs> I love fishing like this, folks. I mean, look at this. Fishing out of a shallow little moss pit. We're catching some big old fat brook trout. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, he's in the weeds. Big time. Ah, get out of here. Look at that fish. Wow. Wow. Would you look at this fish? How beautiful is that? All right, guys, just got the hook out. Look at that beauty. Absolute football. Look at that. Look at that fish. All right guys, I'm gonna have to toss him out just past that moss, because I don't want him to get stuck in here. So, I'm just gonna give him a little toss here. And there he goes, he's swimming off. There he goes, look at that. Right back under that log. If we can just get one more last minute fish, I'll be happy. Oh, there we go. Got one. That's a nice one too. That's a really good one. Came right over to it and just slurped it right up. That is a good one. That is at least as big as that last one. Another brook. Or he's just fighting harder. Oh, man. Another good one. Look at that. This is crazy. Man, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. We're gonna get him in and out as quickly as possible because I think we can still catch another one. And there we go, guys, another stud brookie. Get him back quick. And there he goes, swims off fine. By the way, guys, they stalk some of these lakes by helicopter, so a little toss like that doesn't hurt him at all. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm wrapping it up here. It's getting dark and I gotta get home. Ended the day off strong with those fat brook trout. Couldn't have asked for a better way to end the day. And we caught that giant tiger trout earlier at that other lake. All in all, it was a good day. Put in a lot of hours for only a handful of fish, but they were, they were good fish at that, so. I'm happy with the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like this video and wanna see more like this, let me know and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.